Hey everyone, AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119. So another Heathkit SB200. Go over everything I'm going to do to it. So it has a different power supply board in it, not the Harbach one. Uh, I think these come pre-soldered. I prefer Harbach boards, so it's already in here, so I'll, I'll roll with it. But the secondary connections coming off the transformer have to be resoldered. Also, if you replace the circuit breaker, I need to resolder that. Replace these two caps. Make sure the resistors are within tolerance. He wants an SO239 added for the input connector, so I'll do that. Band switch looks okay. Air variables look okay. I'll change the grid loading resistors and the mica cap to the green ground. Compress the clips. Clean the clips. Clean the relay, deoxy gold. Clean the output rotary switch, you know, the band switch and the input rotary switch deoxy gold. And uh, that's about it. So I'm going to get to work and I'll be back. See you soon. Okay, so I'm back with the completed amplifier. I'm going to go over, over everything I did to this thing. So at the very end, I noticed that this solder connection had failed the tubing. So I went ahead and re-soldered it. It's for this coil right here. So change the blade blocker, rewound new parasitic suppressors with 2 watt carbon comp resistors. I changed the grid loading resistors and the mica cap from grid to ground, compressed all the clips, cleaned all the clips. You see all that down there. Fixed some other solder connections. I. Fix the solder connections for the transformer secondary leads. Put protection diodes in for the meter. Reverse connected. Okay. A little piece of solder down there. I'll get rid of that. I did not put this board together. This board, I believe, was uh, pre-assembled when he bought it. I think this is this is not like I said before. This is not a Harbach board. I prefer Harbach boards. Okay, so this screw on this side, this screw on this side for this standoff was missing. And this one was too short. It wasn't even catching the thread. So I replaced this screw and I put a screw in on this side. So now it's secured. Okay, I'm gonna flip it over and I'll show you the bottom. I also replaced the meter lamp. Okay, so I cleaned the rotary switch for the band switch, the one for the input, and uh, the one for the multimeter and the tier relay contacts. Okay, I'll be right back. Oil the fan, change the two caps, put an SO239 in for the input. I tightened the ground stud. You have to be careful with this because if this is loose, this can actually hit. It'll, depending on where this plastic thing is, you can end up grounding out the center conductor of the of the um, output. This is the directional coupler for the relative power meter. So that all looks good. I also replaced the power cord plug. Someone snapped off the third prong and these two connections were exposed. So I put a brand new plug on it. Okay. So this thing is all set and also bought new screws for the cover. I just bought a new box. So same 3 8 long number six sheet metal type screws. Phillips head instead of flat head. So if you need an amplifier repaired, feel free to give me a call. Let's have to tighten this real quick. Oh, that came off. But let's put the nut back on this screw and tighten it. So, so like I said, if you need an amplifier repaired, feel free to give me a call. The phone number is 203-892-4119. That's 203-892-4119. And my website is ampreparegar.com. One last thing I almost forgot. 
I fixed the solder connections on the circuit breaker and I turned it around so it's facing the right direction with the tabs away from the, the wall. I also changed the padding capacitor for 80 meters. So thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Take care.